Hello, it's been a while I feel. Happy Sunday. I am back at the UBC lab as you can see. I was here yesterday but didn't have much time so I didn't vlog anything but where did we even last leave off because I don't even know what you know. Okay, let me go grab my samples. So yesterday I was here to prepare tissue samples for lipolization. So we're using this lipolyzer here. I'm just gonna take this off. I think it looks good. Yeah, okay. And then I'll update you what's going on. Oh no, I just... Yesterday, Pohan asked me to remove some samples for him and there was like one, two, four? And this is number three. Oh my gosh, it was here. I don't know if he put it in or if I screwed up. Anyways, I will freeze this for him and put it back on the lipolizer. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, let's put that there for now. These are my samples. Let's go back to that lab and I will bring this one with me. Yeah. Okay, basically, Jarman ended up doing my biodistribution study. He collected all the organs, did the, all the injections and everything. Thank goodness for him. And then Kane has been helping me with processing the tissue samples. And then Pohan's gonna jump on and help too. But this is just the first little bit of tissues that I made with my drug for the calibration curve, which I'm going to run. So today I'm just gonna pack all these samples up so that I can prepare them for analysis this week sometime. Okay, so I'm gonna tape these samples because I have holes in them and I don't know if you can see, yeah. So basically what I did was I took my drug and my conjugate and made basically a solution of them in each organ. So there's heart, liver, lung, kidney, tumor. Heart, liver, lung, kidney, tumor, spleen. So six organs. And I want to test the UPLC method to see if it can detect these things so that I can quantify how much of my stuff actually goes into each organ. Because that is something that the reviewers from one of my manuscripts want to see. <sighs> I just really hope that I can actually detect them and it's a nice calibration curve. Uh, yeah, so update, update. I don't know where I last left off genuinely, but this, I think it's been two weeks maybe since I vlogged. I don't know. It's just been really crazy with work and studying whenever I can to prep for my defense. My defense is one month out-ish from today and Honestly, I don't know if there's a good way to prep for a defense. What I'm doing now is just like trying to study everything in my thesis and like kind of guess what kind of questions will be asked. I don't know. But as you can see, there's like a lot of revision stuff that I need to be doing too, like revision experiments that basically have now been divided amongst three of my lab mates. So Pohan, Jamin, and Kane have really been stepping up. So I've been like planning the experiments and then telling them what kind of things need to be done and then they're, they've been going about doing it. So Jamin is like the big animal person. So like he was able to do all the injections and collection of these compounds in the tumor mice that Netta started. There's so many people involved, Netta and another postdoc. So two postdocs were the ones that actually developed the tumor model. And then Jamin came in and like did the injections and collection and then submitted the samples for histology and then collected the tissues and then passed it on to Kane and then now Kane and Pohan will be dealing with like the processing of the tissues because like once you have the tissues you need to homogenize them and then like remove the protein so that's like a very time consuming step and I have like 144 samples so I can't do that because I'm at work so they're gonna do that this week I think and then next week hopefully I'll have the actual all the tissue samples and I can analyze it on the UPLC this week I wanted to 
actually just see if I can detect any of these, like make sure that there's a method that I can use to detect the concentration in each organ. So that's one paper. And the other paper requires like an IC50 study and like a stability study in plasma. So then the IC50 study, I pass it on to Pohan. So he's going to be doing two different cancer cell lines, IC50 study, and then Kane's going to be the one that's going to make the nanoparticles because I taught him how to make the nanoparticles. So I think yesterday he was here as well to make the nanoparticles and I think they look good. So Kane really picked up things really fast. Super impressed with him. But yeah, I'm just so grateful for all of my freaking lab mates for stepping up and like, you know, doing all of this stuff for me. I don't know what I would be doing or how I would be functioning if I had to do all of this by myself. I don't think it's possible. I took a break yesterday, but then now like there's this guilt. I feel like I should be studying whenever I have time, but I, I was just horizontal yesterday. I went home after being in the lab for a little bit and I just was horizontal all evening on the couch. I was just so tired. So today, hopefully after I'm done with this, I can go home and actually be productive and study. Nothing very interesting, but hopefully I will see you soon. Hopefully, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'll see you. I'll see you later. <laughs> Hello, happy Wednesday. I am at work, but it is almost noon and there's no juice final seminar today. I'm gonna see if I can call her. Let's just see if she'll pick up actually. Okay, I'll see no Jude. I'm so nervous, like in a good way, but let's see. Let's see. Yeah, 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 I'll come in. But say hi to the vlog. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy for you. Okay, I'll be in there. I'll be in there. I'll see you. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> okay, we're gonna join now. Join my video. Hello. Can, is my is my thing working? Can you hear me? Okay. Okay, wait. This is for the vlog. No dude wave! <laughs> Hello. I don't know if you can tell, like a little bit. I'm so red. Ah, oh, it was so good. She did so good. Obviously, she did so good. And Dr. Lee's like introduction made me tear up and then her her acknowledgements made me tear up and it just teared up all over the place. <laughs> ah, this makes me so happy. I'm so happy for her. So she's defending next Wednesday and that's when I'll be giving my seminar, my final exit seminar. So she's defending from 9 to 12 and then I start my seminar from 12 to 1. So I will bring you along with me but this weekend, I think we're gonna have our like last kind of practice together uh, for her defense, and yeah, I'm gonna be practicing my exit seminar, and it's all happening. Good job, don't you? I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I think Jonathan took like a bunch of screenshots uh, during the thing, so maybe I'll put them here. Maybe. Anyways, I have to get back to work, but I will check in with you later. Hello, happy Thursday. I am back in the UPLC room and I'm actually running my samples from my last, I don't even know if I even mentioned this anywhere in my vlog, but it's a biodistribution study for one of the revisions and Kane, Pohan and Jamin basically like spearheaded the whole animal study and now I have like a crap ton of samples to <laughs> It is, it is almost 8 p.m. I'm dying, I'm so tired. But I want to document this because hoping that everything goes fine, but this is freaking gonna be like a full, over 24 hour run. And tomorrow I'm gonna be like switching out plates. I don't know if you can see. Look, so many. That's not even all of it. So yeah, anyways, anyways. Just wanna check in and maybe I will see you tomorrow because I will still be doing this stuff tomorrow. Yeah, okay, okay. See you, see you. Bye, bye, bye. 
Hello, happy Friday. Oh my gosh. So like yesterday, oh, this UPLC is the longest set of samples I've ever run in my entire PhD career. So we can access it remotely from home and like Oh, when I got home yesterday, I saw that uh, the pressure increased for one of the samples so then the system just completely shut down and now it's... <laughs> so I restarted again, but then yeah, midnight, like around like 2 a.m. ish, like in, mid in the middle of the night also it started to shut down. So I'm like, oh my gosh, this is gonna take longer. But let me show you how many samples I have left to like put into the UPLC vial today. Here. So actually, Kane and Pohan are so freaking, and Jaman too. Jaman did all the injections and what's it called? Collection and everything. Ugh. So just these and these left. So not too bad today. I'm still so wired from yesterday night. Like, I don't think my brain actually shut off. And I'm just so anxious about this data set and I just got an email so like this 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 revision for this manuscript has like two parts right one part is the bio distribution study which is what I'm analyzing now and then another part is actually the we submitted some tissue samples for histology and I just got an email like literally two minutes ago that it's ready so now I'm gonna go look at the slides and then that's like and then I can submit so basically Here's the timeline. It is March 4th. My final exit seminar is this coming Wednesday. Today's Friday. And then exactly a week after that is my defense. The so no Jude is defending this when this coming Wednesday. And, and, and then my manuscript revision is due on the 17th. I defend on the 16th. So this weekend is gonna be so much fun. It's gonna be so much fun. <laughs> let's go look at the slides together. Yeah, yeah, let's go, let's go. Oh my gosh, so funny. So like this morning, I think at like 5 a.m. I panic emailed Dr. Lee because I was like, oh, it's gonna take me all weekend to run all these samples on the UPLC. And I still haven't received the, at, in the morning, obviously I didn't receive the email from the staining people yet. And then I was like, should we extend the deadline for the revision? But then we got this. So then panic, panic, panic. Hopefully they look fine so much anxiety like there's too much there's too much going on at the same time it's way too much like i'm still not even done my like defense slides yet because like i have most of it done but then when i practice with my co-workers like this week or last week oh my god what i don't know sometimes this week they gave some really good like feedback so i need to like change my slides and i just haven't found the time to do it yet okay how do you do this? I have to install this thing. One sec, I have to figure this out. Okay, okay, I finally got it to work. I don't know why I'm so freaking challenged with technology. Okay, let me show you, let me show you. One sec. Here is one group. They just laid all the tissues on one slide. Ugh, I'm so, I'm so challenged. I don't know how to freaking like zoom. Eh, like, okay, so I'm restarting it. I, this, I freaking can't deal with. I'm transitioning from Word to Mac. Ugh, okay. I will check in with you later. I don't know what the heck is going on with this software. But I'm, I think I'm just so excited. There's so much data. Like after the end of this weekend, I should have all my BD data. And then I should have, once I figure out this freaking app, I should have this. So I'll check in with you later. Bye. 